I'm not going to be doing a comic book review. Instead, I want to talk about a topic on an article that I read recently from Comic Book Resources regarding the live-action Avatar The Last Airbender series coming to Netflix. The article in question was bringing up the idea that now is the time for the live-action series to have representation from the LGBTQ population, which I completely agree with. I kind of thought a couple characters in the original series may have been gay or may have been bisexual or maybe their sexuality was a bit fluctuating. I know in The Legend of Korra they finally did break that boundary and had Korra herself be bisexual with her girlfriend Asami. And later we find out that Avatar Kiyoshi was also bisexual. Not to mention that Aang and Korra's daughter was also a lesbian herself. So I would like to think that maybe some of the other miscellaneous characters that have been introduced in the original series, which there are a lot of them, could also be part of the LGBT community. I'm going to put a couple characters out there and this may just be my personal opinion and it could be totally off but I'm still going to stick by it. The first one is Sokka's Master. Master Pian Dao is introduced in the third season, book three, and I know it doesn't mean anything being that he's living on his own and he is a master swordsman, but I still kind of got that idea when I was originally watching the series, thinking that maybe he was just an older man who lived alone and possibly was gay. I think it would be incredibly cool if the live action series, when it gets to that point, we see that he is an out gay man, or maybe he's a closeted gay man, being that the society that they're living in may not be as accepting. Another character, and this is one that it may be personally a favorite of mine, is King Boomy. We don't know a lot about King Boomy, with the exception that he became one of the most powerful earthbenders ever, with the exception of Toph. And of course, he had a rockin' hard body at the age of 112. It's just wishful thinking on my part, but still, I think it would be incredibly awesome if we found out that he was gay himself. And finally, the last one that I just want to put out there, and I know this is a long shot, but still, I'm going to say it. The Boulder. I know he's supposed to be a parody on The Rock, and he's a very toxic male, but that doesn't mean he can't be a part of the community. He may be trying to overcompensate because he's in the closet and he doesn't want others to know, but I don't know. I'm just theorizing and putting it out there. What do you guys think? Leave comments down below. Who is a character who you may think could be part of the LGBT community that's part of the Avatar series and could possibly be introduced or be outed in the upcoming live action series. I'm interested to know your thoughts. But I'll end this video at this point. I may do some future videos similar to this one where I'm just kind of putting my thoughts out there. Anyways, though, thank you guys for watching me in this video. Be sure to check out my Patreon site, my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll see you guys later. I know this video is probably going to get a few negative comments and quite a few thumbs down, but I am prepared for it. I know when anyone even brings up the idea of diversity, it always freaks out a few people out there and they panic and they always go into hateful troll mode, but I am prepared for it and you know what? I still stand by what I said.